Hi, my name is Indira and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Constance. And today I'd like to talk to you about how people perceive differences in the readability of Wikipedia articles. This is joint work with Marike Wieland and Katrin Weller from GASIS and Martin Gerlach from the Wikimedia Foundation. Readability is defined as how easy it is for a reader to understand a piece of text, for example, a Wikipedia article. In that sense, it's a proxy for accessibility. An easily readable piece of text is understandable to a wide range of people, including those who have limited language literacy. In the context of Wikipedia, if articles are written at too complex a level, then that constitutes a knowledge gap because people with limited language literacy might not be able to access the knowledge and information contained in these articles. To address these gaps, the Simple Wikipedia project was launched, which aims to be a simple English language version of the regular English Wikipedia. It's written in a language that's easy to understand, also called simple or basic English. Uh, to demonstrate this, here are a pair of articles, one from Simple English Wikipedia, that's the one on top, and the regular English Wikipedia that's uh, in the bottom. These, both of these articles about, are about the same person, Dan Kelly, an Australian outlaw. And I've highlighted a part to try and convey the differences in language between them. So in the first one, it says Dan Kelly died during the famous capture of Glen Rowan. Whereas in the second one, to convey the same information, it's written in a more complex language, which says Dan Kelly died during the infamous siege of Glen Rowan. So with a little bit more complex vocabulary. So basically, it's important to assess the readability of uh, Wikipedia articles to try and see if they are inaccessible to people. And of course, manually assessing this for many, many different articles is intractable. So we need to find ways of trying to automate this process. And one way of doing this is through readability formulas. And one example of that is the flesh reading ease that I have showed on the slides. This typically relies on uh, factors like average sentence length and average word length, and it's usually assessed on a sentence level. More recently, we have sophisticated natural language processing techniques that rely on language modeling, including our recent work, which tries to um, do this readability assessment for multilingual um, settings. But let's take a step back and ask ourselves, do people's perceptions of readability and these automated uh, readability metrics actually align, especially when it comes to Wikipedia articles? To try and answer this question, we collected um, a large data set of paired articles, one from one set from simple Wikipedia, and we matched them with their English Wikipedia counterparts. And out of these, 100,000 pairs, we sampled and manually vetted 40 pairs of articles, which we then injected into a survey that was shown to 15 participants or crowd workers from Prolific. Uh, these participants saw pairs of articles, one from simple Wikipedia and one from regular English Wikipedia without knowing the source of uh, the articles. And then they were asked to say which one they found more readable. And they could also provide free text answers about what they think makes a text more readable, as well as provide demographic information, such as their education levels and English fluency. This is what our interface look like, looks, uh, looks like. So basically, we have two articles, one from simple Wikipedia, one from English Wikipedia, but uh, shuffled. We don't mention which one is from which source. And uh, the participants have to pick one of these as more readable. And if they can't, they can select that both are equally easy to read. We complement this survey with qualitative cognitive pre-testing interviews where one of the authors conducted think aloud interviews where participants went over the same survey as before, but this time they would verbalize their reasoning and uh, judgment procedure. 
Our preliminary results from the survey as well as the interviews indicate that we don't find a consensus. Um, the simple article is picked to be the more readable one less than half the time. And the overall agreement between the crowd workers is also low and indicates weak agreement. When we disaggregate the results by education levels, we find that people who have higher education levels, particularly graduate degrees, they seem to find the regular English version more readable. And this is also confirmed by the free text answers, which provide quite some variance. The interviews uh, reveal that people struggle to make a judgment when the content between the snippets differ. This is an understudied aspect with document level readability assessment, which is quite important in the context of Wikipedia. Our overall takeaways from this preliminary pilot was that um, perceptions of readability are subjective and can depend on factors such as education and language fluency. In that sense, one single metric for uh, one single metric might not capture various dimensions of readability, and we might need more context specific understanding. Our next steps are to scale up the survey to include more participants so that we can statistically assess the impact of demographic and psychological factors such as education levels and cognitive styles. You can find out more about our research on this meta page. I thanks a lot for listening and I look forward to seeing you at the workshop.